Yo guys, what's up? Just got another 226. How's it going? Today, we're going to be looking at box cutters. And uh, let's start off with there are many different kinds of box cutters. Uh, first of all, why did I buy this? I bought this because I needed a general utility box cutter that I could rely on, that I could carry with me and not ruin my good knife that I'm carrying with me. One or two good knives that I'm carrying with me. The, like tactical knife, uh, like this cold steel espada. I don't want to really use this to open boxes. Waste of blade. And uh, I've got one like this that I could also use. But uh, if I don't want to whip this out in like uh, my office or wherever, out in public, um, it's not advisable sometimes. So I just wanted something, a general utility that I could use, I could take out, use in public, that people would not be like, hey, what is that guy doing with the knife? Um, so, that's why I've searched, done this little search and uh, use video. Done a lot of testing over the last, uh, I don't know, six months or so I've been doing stuff. Sorry about the background noise. Um, so let's start off with the worst to best. So the worst is this option. This is just a general utility around the house type thing. Blade goes in and out. Plastic. Cheap. Junk. I don't remember. I used this for some general yard thing. I don't remember what I was doing. I was working outside. Maybe cutting over open bags of soil or something. Um, anyway, it died. It doesn't go out or retract anymore. I think I tried to fix it. Took it apart and it doesn't work anymore. I'm not, not sure why I have it, but I still have it. Uh, next uh, upgrade was this uh, metal one. Not bad. You could retract it. Um, you extract the blade by pushing this down and out. The blade doesn't really come out anymore even. You can see it's been well used. It's okay. It's marginal. Um, next we have this. It's a multi-use. Uh, I have this in your car. It does uh, four-in-one functions. Doesn't really do any of them very well. The uh, light is pretty dim, pretty poor. The tire gauge is marginal. Not very accurate and uh, not very good. Glass breaker I've never had to try or use. Never had the opportunity, but I wouldn't mind testing that out. And then uh, the other thing is the knife. Get the seatbelt cutter. Is uh, marginal. I don't know if I wanted to pen my life on that. And, uh, oh, it got stuck. Going back in. So you got that. And then you have these blades. Right, you push these out. Bring it back. Not a bad little blade for around the house use. I don't know if I'd want to carry this in my pocket, per se. I mean, it, it got a little lock on it. But, uh, it's slow to access. Takes up a lot of room. Not, not very good. Same, same with this deal. There's not even a lock on this one. I think it busted off. I've had issues with it. I put some duct tape on there. Um, so I went to Home Depot. I was looking for a nice one. So they had some ones like this or all full metal and all nice and whatever. But then I saw this one in particular. It jumped out at me. Got the Husky. It's pretty hefty in weight. Um, so I started carrying this around with me around the house and general utility. It was kind of big and bulky in my pocket. You can see it's real super thick, um, kind of heavy. Uh, we can measure, I think it's like four ounces or so. I don't know. It feels heavier. It feels like six ounces. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Uh, four and a half ounces, I guess. So not, not actually that bad. Um, I've had carried knives that are heavier than that, but it just feels chunky and heavy for the amount of room it takes up. So you fold the blade out. You can see you've got some... Some jimping here, you can you can choke up on it for some uh, more delicate tasks. That's nice. It's got some good contours here you can grab onto. It's very nice. I like it a lot. And the blade is easily, it's a little push button. You just push that button and slides right out. Very nice. You can see I've, I've used the, the one side of this blade so far. Pretty nice. Easily replaceable blades. Get a pack of blades like this. Pretty cheap, inexpensive. Um, so overall, I like this a lot for like around the house use and whatever. 
However, it's not really good for EDC carrying everyday general utility purpose. So I did an Amazon, I was on Amazon one day, and I found these, the Workplace Pro. And these are small, light, thin, compact, have a nice pocket clip on them, right? Fold it out, same kind of utility use, right? You push this little button up here, you can pull the blade out. Oh, yeah, see that blade? I uh, busted the tip off of that one, so I just flipped it around. I don't remember what I was doing when I did that, but uh, there it is. Um, so these are really nice. You can try to open it with one hand. It's a little more difficult, but it's possible. Uh, closing it with one hand, I wouldn't recommend. It's hard to do. Haven't perfected that yet, but I've been carrying this around for a while. You can see I got a set of three. I think. So you got a green one, a red one, and a blue one. You can see I carried the green one for a little while. It's got some cool wear on it right there. Yep, see, pocket wear. Not bad. Good condition still. And then I switched over to the blue one. You can see that's a little bit more worn. Not exactly sure. I mean, I carried this for a couple few months or whatever. Maybe more. <clears throat> this red one, I just have it in my work, work table here. Um, to open packages and whatever. It's real nice. It's in good condition, brand new. Barely used for opening boxes and stuff. You can't even tell the blade wear. You can see see the little instructions on there on how to open it, how to close it, whatever. Change the blade. So that's why I chose these. And they have very good blades, right? You got this pack of blades. You, you can either buy with it or buy separate or whatever. Very nice. So they're all metal construction, as far as I can tell. Um, very nice, very sturdy. Um, it could take some abuse. Um, I'm sure this hinge will eventually start to wear. You can see that hinge there it takes a specialized tool to adjust or tighten. And uh, these little uh, stars, torques, are uh, haven't adjusted them yet, haven't tightened them on any of them yet, even the ones that I've been carrying. Uh, I probably should. Uh, make sure it does, the thing doesn't fall apart in my pocket. That wouldn't be super awesome. Um, so you can see here, it's this is a basically a lockback, and it locks up real nice. I mean, there's a little bit of wiggle, but not much. Side to side, not so much. It's very sturdy. <coughs> you can see how it opens at the lock, it snaps into place. Very cool. I don't know if you guys can see into there. It's all metal construction. Closed. If you get it, if you get salt water in there or something, you're gonna need to take it apart, squirt it out. Uh, but these are pretty cheap and inexpensive, so maybe not. Um, okay, let's see the weight. Okay, well you remember this one was four and a half ounces, kind of chunky in your pocket. This one feels lighter. Um, it's thinner, smaller form factor. Uh, 2.9 ounces basically three ounces so for three ounces you got a nice little knife you can use the open blister packs boxes general utility bags of fertilizer whatever you're whatever you do um, and it's very nice as far as the length let's take a look at that see this is about mm, Five and a half inches open. You can see that. Very good. And closed. They measure about three and a half inches or so. So not bad. Um, you can use your uh, if you have you're wearing tactical pants. They work really good in that small little pocket up front. Um, that's where I usually carry them. And like if I'm wearing jeans in that little pocket that you have no idea what it's for, but it's there. It's like you want to use it for something. So this is what I that's what I put in there. It's very nice. Uh, like I said before, it's all metal construction. Uh, feels good in your hand ergonomically. I mean, it fits. You can put your two fingers into this little curve, and then this your other finger here, and then you put your other finger up, a thumb up here, and you can cut. You can hold it like this. I mean, there's this is the way I use it a lot of times to open boxes and whatever. Um, you can just hold it like this. Uh, there's a lot of different options. 
it's pretty ergonomic, it's pretty small. Um, you want to keep a firm grip on it. Um, there's not a lot of traction material. This little uh, traction material here on the handle is just a different kind of metal. You can hear it. Um, so it gives you a little traction, but not much. So the clip design is very nice. Um, you see this, we go back to this clip. This clip, this thing is sticking out of your pocket. I'm not really preferential to that. I like these clips that go deep in your pocket, like this one here. Uh, this is the Humvee. I did a review on this earlier. Uh, I recently just uh, snagged it on something and uh, sprung the clip. So I'll have to fix that thing. And uh, this one here is a little bit bigger. You could use this maybe to press this into tactical use, attack force. But also, pocket clip issue. Um, anyway, this pocket clip is very nice. It's got a real nice um, deep top, deep pocket carry on it. Wide, wide lip at the bottom. And uh, when it's in your pocket, this clip presses up against your uh, pocket on the outside and it presses against this material so it gives a little bit of traction so it's not just going to fall out. But uh, if you're using it in, like in your tactical pant or whatever, um, this is a, it stays in there real good. So like I said before, I've been carrying this around for a couple few months, uh, so it's pretty durable. Um, I'm very impressed. The blade hasn't really fallen out. Um, I thought uh, initially this might be an issue because the thumb thing is right here to, to uh, unlock it, but you don't really use it. Actually it's uh, better because usually my thumb is up here, so it's for sure not going to be, the blade is not going to be coming out when I'm using it because my finger's up here or my finger's up here. The blade that has no way for that thing to pop, to unlock. So that's that's quite good. Now this uh, package of three uh, work pros is about twenty bucks on Amazon. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, I think this was like uh, fifteen bucks at Home Depot. So you get three for one um, cost. So I think uh, I'll put a link for you guys below if you guys want to pick one of these up start carrying it around. Let me know how, how it works out for you. Um, I really like it, so I, I don't have to use one of my other knives. Um, I can replace the blade easily, uh, especially out in public. I live in California, so people don't really uh, like knives so much. I'm most people. Uh, blades are easily replaceable. You don't have to worry about sharpening. Uh, one of my big, big weaknesses here is uh, my sharpening technique and uh, the way I do it. Uh, I need to get better at that. I probably need some better tools for the job and I'll, I'll be doing some reviews on, on sharpening in the future. Uh, actually, speaking of sharpening, I got this uh, the Lasky. It's pretty nice. Got this other one, the AccuSharp. I'll be reviewing that too in the future. So, uh, hey guys, if you uh, have any questions, uh, let me know. Comment below. Uh, send me an IM. Or uh, you can click the link, hopefully, that's uh, going to be down there in the bar uh, below in the description for uh, a good deal on Amazon for these things. I highly recommend you get a, a set of three. You can keep one, uh, one on your desktop, you can keep like one in the garage, and you can keep one in your pocket. And if the one in your pocket goes uh, belly up, hey, you can always got two backups. That's the way I look at it. So uh, if you have any other questions, give me... Give me an IM and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.